Welcome back. Uh, let's look at using the Excel solver for an optimization problem that's uh, related to production and inventory. So in, in the problem statement we have this, that we have demanded over the next four months the values that are in this row. And our production capacity for those four months is given in this row. In addition to that, the unit production cost, so per unit in each of these months, is given in this third row. So those are, are the givens in the problem, and what we want to do is determine the uh, production plan, the amount to produce in each month over the next four months, uh, that will uh, meet the demand at the lowest cost. Uh, but our, our total cost is really comprised of, of two pieces. One is what does it cost to produce uh, in each particular month? So the number produced and the, the cost per unit. Uh, but also if you look at the amount demanded in this production capacity row, you can see that uh, at least one month we have more demanded than we have the capacity. And so we have to, uh, to make decisions on producing and maybe producing uh, more in, in one month. And as we, we make those choices, then we have a, a second cost element, which is the cost for carrying items in inventory. So our total cost is a combination of production cost and inventory carrying cost. Now in the, in the problem scenario, we also want to have a minimum of 400 produced every month. And we want to have a minimum ending inventory of 50 every month. And then you can see here the, the relationships that will, will guide us as we uh, model this and run the optimization. This ending inventory is beginning plus produced minus demanded will give us ending. Uh, a, a month's beginning is a prior month's ending inventory. And then for inventory carrying cost, uh, there's $1.50 per unit uh, is our monthly inventory carrying cost. And the way that we calculate the, the number of units carried, or really the average on-hand inventory, is that's the average of the beginning and ending balance in a particular month. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in, in formulas for ending inventory. So it says equal to beginning plus produced minus demanded. We can just carry this across. Uh, the uh, month two beginning is month one ending. Uh, we can say carry this across uh, so that we can see if our, our formula is working. Let's just put, say, 400 uh, in these cells so we'll have some values to work with. Now, our average uh, on hand inventory is equal to the beginning balance plus the ending balance divided by 2 and of course that should be a, a number then let's carry that across monthly inventory cost then is going to be the average inventory carried uh, multiplied times our monthly per unit cost, and let's uh, freeze that cell, and then we can carry this across. And then monthly production cost is going to be the number produced that month times the uh, the unit production cost. And again, we can carry this across. And just expand those cells. Okay, so our total cost is going to be the, the sum of these two rows, what it cost us to produce and what it cost us to carry the inventory. Uh, so now we've, we've modeled this uh, situation. Let's pull up the solver. And so data and solver. Our objective is that we want to minimize 
total cost. Our changing cells is the amount to produce. Our constraints. Uh, we have uh, three constraints. We have two constraints on production and one on the ending inventory. The production needs to be uh, more than the minimum and less than the, the max or the capacity. So our units produced need to be less than or equal to our capacity. Units produced need to be greater than or equal to our minimum. And the ending inventory uh, needs to be greater than or equal to our minimum ending inventory. All right, so we have our uh, objective, minimize, changing cells, constraints, uh, check the make unconstrained variables non negative, simplex LP, and click on solve. And this gives us our uh, optimal solution, which is to produce 410 in month one, 520 in month two, 400 in month three, and 450 in month four. That's it. Thanks. See you next time.